this um, today we are learning how to create a calculator using the Visual Studio 2019 and we'll enter the necessary codes in order for our calculator to run so here we already know what we input here because I've done this in a previous video. So you can just search Windows. Then we choose this Windows Forms app. Right in it. And you can just choose it. You can write any name. I just leave it as default. So this is my form. So I'll use the button. So you just come to the two words and search button. Drag and drop. Then you size it or resize it to what how you want it to be. And I'll show you how to duplicate um duplicate something. So you just all right, so you click on what you want to duplicate, then you press control, then you hold your left mouse button, then you drag and you drop. So you are duplicating this many times. So like you're arranging it how you want the computer to be. Okay. So you arrange your buttons. I need to duplicate more. So make sure your buttons are in line. Then we introduce our text box. So you come to your two rows and you type in text box. You have it right here. You drag and drop it. And you just increase the length. Alright, so let's begin naming our button. So um, We let's begin by this one. So you come to appearance, come to this is property. So appearance, look for text, then relate it and write one. Just type one, you hit the enter key, you come down to design, you see button. Let it then you know the centers for um button so btn one or you can read btn one come to the next one to design so btn Hit the enter key will come back to your text. All right. So type in two. Um, all 
Ouais, je compte sur le terroir. This is the design, so it will be BT and Ray. When you come to the text, this is how I want to arrange it. So I'll come here, my four will be here. So my test, four. this is under appearance. So you come down to the design. Name and ETM for ETM. And this is the design so ETN five. Test. Test will be five. Hit the enter key. This is text under appearance so to be. Six there will be BTN six. So you follow in that order BTN seven. This is nine, so BTN nine. Remember BTN, the next letter should be capital N. There should not be any space. So we come to our text and we hit the nine. Alright, so I've gotten my numbers here. Alright, so let's begin with this the equations. This is text under appearance, so I want this to be plus addition. So addition, hit to enter key, come down. So I will name it BTN plus. I'll use this as minus, so I'll name it BTN. Minus so I we'll use the minus and hit your enter. This will be my multiplication, but you use the asterisk. Um, you can use your multiplication, that's the time, so you can use asterisk any which way is accepted. So, see this. Here will be my division. So BTN division. So we are left with these buttons. I'll use this as my dots. So dots. Name it BTN dots. I'll use this as zero. So this is text under design. So BTN zero. my zero here i'll use this as clear which is c so i'll just represent it by c and btn clear so btn clear and this will be my equal to sign so i'll just name it btn equal
come to the text we might go to sign then i'm done so i can delete this for the meantime all right so we want this is test box so um we want like the numbers we type in this test box we want it to appear we want it to appear um on the right side so we come to text align by default is at the left so come here then you click right So we continue with the coding. So you just double click your um, form and to open this coding um, this coding platform for you. So I'm not going to include this code. I'll, I've already done so I'll just show it to you and show you how I did it. So I have my codes here. So we have private sub button click sender as project handles you'll find it there you find it here it's default so you find it so handles then you continue by saying continue by inputting your your button uh, design button name is here so i have my btn1 B, um, btn1.click leave a space btn2.click comma in that order so btn1.click btn2.click btn3.click i have my btn minus i have my btn plus i have my btn equal i have my btn zero btn dot so btn1 then the btn2 let's click in this order in this order so we can have it in this order so you type in the way you typed in the form the way you typed in the form All right, so after doing this, you input this code here, dim button as button equals C type. C type is the um, it's the data type you are using here. So C type sender button. Type this. You come here is a loop so if button dot name equals btn1 then test box dot text equals test box dot x plus one I want to return this so this one you can just copy after typing you can just copy it, the code and just fix it in the, the the rest is still the same thing. Are you just going to change? We're going to change the BTN name and the numbers. So here is default. So we just you can just copy and paste it. So BTN one. You input one here. So you come to the second one. You just paste it. Then you come and delete the one and put your two here. So BTN two. You come here. You put two. BTN3, input 3, BTN4, input 4. In that order. So up to your BTN9, you input your 9 here. Then we come to the operation. So if button.name equals BTN plus, it's still the same. Um, you can just copy and paste it. Then here you just change your BTN number to btn plus then you put your you assign your um operational sign here so btn plus then my plus um the same thing for btn minus 
BTN division BTN multiplication but in this form we are going to use the asterisk shifts plus 8 we give you asterisk have my btn dot btn equal we'll come to the one later so let's continue btn clear we have it clear in this format something like this between the semicolon here is a now column i have my two semicolons But there's nothing in between then we come to our btn zero all right so for btn equal we are going to input this two codes here so dim str str is string so dim str is string equals this was dot this was one dot text come and type in this dim results equals new data table then a now set this is a now set so uh, it's a now bracket or any which way dot com computes it's bracket str comma then nothing you come to text box one dot text plus results so this is for the it's, it's very easy you just copy and paste and change the btn so after doing all this you are done 